second. Oh, dude, that thing is glorious. All right, bring her over here so she's, let me see this. Dude, first fish of the day, first, first cast of the day. Mm -hmm. You're good to let her go. Ready? Yep. All Ooh. right, let's go. All right, hey there guys, so good morning. Um, well, I was thinking about doing my intro later in the day, but it appears that we already caught a fish. Um, we just smoked a brook trout on the very first cast of the day, uh, legitimately the first cast of the day, and I wasn't prepared. I, I don't even have any of my gear out. We're just getting going. So this is gonna be a sweet fishing day. We got Corey in the front. Uh, we got Sean in the back. You're gonna see him in just a moment holding up that awesome fish. And uh, these guys are not casting right now, so we're definitely not gonna get a fish on camera to start the, the, the intro. Um, but it's gonna be a sick, sick day. Uh, if you guys haven't already done it, go check out the trout opener video with Corey right here. He smashes some really big trout and smallmouth and walleye. It's gonna be a multi-species day today. We're gonna have fun. And uh, if you guys can hear those birds in the background, it is beautiful. Spring is here. Catch, release, wander. Let's get rolling. All right, hey there guys, uh, welcome to Hate's Wanderings. Uh, so this video, this river, this was a super special day. Just like that trout opener that we just dropped last week, this stretch of water turned out to be a ton of fun. It was completely new for the guys and I. There were three of us, we went out. We didn't really know what to expect. I'm feeling like there's a fish underneath this cedar. I'm fishing it. I'm not really sure how deep it is, but... In this video, I'm going to be doing a voiceover or voice along. I'm going to be kind of interspersing some clips from the day just to kind of show you what it was like, uh, almost as if you guys were there with us. So as you saw from that beginning clip, we catch multiple species. I'm letting this thing get deep 
<laughs> as well. Crayfish. Really? <laughs> Let's see that thing. <laughs> is that a catch? Let me see it. Is it a rusty or a native? We didn't really know if that was gonna happen. We had a we had a thought that perhaps we'd be able to catch multiple species. So we did bring gear for both cold water and warm water species, but we never knew if it was actually gonna happen. That's how a lot of early spring fishing floats go. We know that it's a possibility of catching fish, um, but the water temp and the water levels and the fish cooperating, you never know if that's going to happen. <laughs> Not ideal, but... <laughs> Not... species. All right. Gosh. It's about ready to... I don't know, throw my rod into the water. I haven't caught a fish in forever. And thankfully today it did. In this video, we got four species. We got brook trout, huge, personal best brook trout. We got a uh, smallmouth, a decent smallmouth. Um, there were a lot of walleye uh, that incidentally were caught and we tossed those back and we even got a pike at one point. So it was really cool. We were targeting brook trout and smallmouth and we did end up catching both of those species this river is extremely shallow extremely rocky and full of rapids riffles boulders obstructions log jams not all of that made it onto this film today but there were a numerous uh uh, amount of uh, float ending obstructions that thankfully we were able to get around or line the raft down through. Um, you're going to see that this was an absolute struggle. We definitely rode the struggle bus on this trip to get through the water. Grab the rope! Grab the rope! We had a good idea. We were told by a good friend of ours that, hey, this is going to be a difficult trip. And it was difficult, but it was also rewarding. Some of the most difficult areas to fish are home to some of the nicest fish really uh, I, that's kind of my thing is I always say you know how hard is it to fish there and if it's super hard to fish there because it's you know difficult or dangerous or remote or whatever then probably it holds fish in that uh, that equation that I did it definitely panned out today there were some of the largest brook trout I've ever seen. Oh. One second. Dude, that is the tankiest brookie I've ever seen. Some really large walleye as well that we weren't expecting and the fishing just kind of, uh, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Uh, some of the holes that we expected to hold fish didn't hold anything and then some of the locations that we didn't expect to hold any fish at all those ended up being, uh, you know, otherworldly in terms of fishing. All right, bring it here. Woo! Yep, so I'm that Sean today, he picked up his personal best brook trout. And you guys are going to see right here, this fish had shoulders. It was such a big brookie. I've only ever seen larger brook trout than this fish when we were fishing for stocked fish in lakes. Stocked brookies definitely get bigger, but native, non-stocked, um, completely native reproduction of fish, this was by far the biggest brookie I'd ever seen. And actually when it, when it hit for, for Sean, he thought it was a pike. He was like, I think I have a pike on. His drag was screaming. 
Unfortunately, my GoPro, it, it, it died as that fish was coming in. So I might have audio, might have a tiny bit of video, but really all of that good content was lost. I was really frustrated with my GoPro. And I actually went out and bought a new one for the next week because I was so frustrated with the old one. Right after we caught Sean, this personal best brook trout, uh, Corey's in the front of the boat and he's fishing right next to the raft. And I'm looking at his lure in the water. He lifts the lure out of the water and I swear to all the fish gods out there, a brook trout jumps out of the water as his lure is in the air, jumps out of the water and swipes at his lure that's, I'm telling you, inches above the surface. Unfortunately, the brook trout didn't get hooked. Um, it was super cool. And I told the guys, hey, my camera was rolling. I got it on footage. Get back to my house. And it was corrupted. Very frustrating. But you guys are here for the good stuff, not the bad stuff. Overall, as I was saying, really rocky, shallow. My oars were too, it was too shallow for me to get a bite with my oars. And you're going to see at this one point, I go over a, I'm going to call it a waterfall, water drop. I don't really know the difference. It was a pretty big drop and there was no room for me to row. And there was, it was so shallow that I couldn't bite with my oars, with my oar strokes. I couldn't actually bite into the water and things could have gone poorly, but, but thankfully everything didn't go poorly. The guys were out of the raft kind of standing and watching me and I, I made it through all right. It was cool. It was fun. Probably should I do it again? I don't think so. No fish right here? What? It looks beautiful. At one point I started using a new lure that I bought for just, I bought it for giggles a couple months ago. I saw a headbanger uh, for sale and I was like, hey, that's a cool looking lure. I wonder if it'll catch any fish. And I was like, eh, probably not. But you know what? I'm gonna pick it up anyways because I love fishing new lures. All right guys, so I got this head banger right here. I just caught that fish on it. I have no idea if this lure is gonna be any good this year, but within the first three or four casts, we caught a nice walleye, so uh, I think it might be. So we get down to this spot. There's kind of this hole. There's this uh, current flowing past this boulder. I anchor up and 
we catch a smallmouth and right on I was like if there's a smallmouth in here I wonder if I could get bit on this headbanger so I put it on and it's a suspending headbanger so it gets down I don't know three four five feet and it's supposed to be kind of like hold right in that position just kind of making movement with it and thump and I was like there's no way that's a fish I, I must have hit a log there's no way that's a fish and my my rod's just going like it's just going over that's a log that's a log in my head i was like there's no way i just caught a fish it was crazy cold water temps were low and uh sure enough it was a big walleye crazy big walleye we get into the net and as i'm getting the headbanger out of the walleye Corey in the front is like hey guys i got a fish on it's a big one he also had a walleye, two big walleye. We get into the net and oh my gosh, just kind of like blows my mind. We're catching all of these wonderful fish and we got a picture of both of them and we let them, let them go because we don't keep anything. Like what is this? Dude, it's the largest walleye in the river. Dude. Oh my gosh, it's the biggest walleye in the river! That's like a 26. Dude! Oh! On a freaking headbanger. On a headbanger! Wow. Oh my gosh. Hey, no, were you just Keep her in the water. I have no idea what I was doing. Dude, guys, you probably just straight got it on the headbanger. I would, I was just joking around. I didn't think this thing would catch anything. Wah! Dubs? No, it feels like a good one too. I don't have a. I mean, I could get a net for you. Smally. Want to get us some of this calm water? Oh my! Dude, it's huge, bro. Well, here, bring it here. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, keep, keep her coming, keep her coming. <laughs> <laughs> Doubled up on like 25 inch walleye. Now those are both like 23s, 24s. Dude, dude, dude. You can click on the picture to make it focus on that spot. Okay. All right. Got her? Can you see this all right? Yeah, we're good. Dude, sick. What bring you it in, Bring it in for close and click on it so it focuses. All right, guys. Stunners. Let's get these fish back. I'm just going to drop mine. Woo! <laughs> Those were stunners. Sweet. Oh my. No, don't worry about it. I'll get this. Look at it. Just, just for the... Oh! Look at them doves! Look at them dubs! Yeah, that one can eat mine. <laughs> it was just really, really cool, really special. And doing it on a new lure, that headbanger, I hope to use it this summer and see if it actually works. I mean, yeah, I caught a fish, but I want to try it in the, the heat of the summer and see if I can't, you know, catch something big on it. Um, I'm thinking something... Something toothy might go after that thing. The water ended up being... Uh, it was cold, but it wasn't it wasn't super cold. Um, so it was in the 40s, and it was getting up into the just hitting that 50 degree mark, which is kind of that mark when you know smallmouth and warm water species start to you know get active. Uh, trout uh, are definitely still active in those upper 40s, and so really the water was pretty ideal. It was just beautiful. It was a great day. Um, and I was so happy and thankful to get out on the water and have such a great adventure. I hope you guys really enjoyed Sounds this good. video. It was a blast it's to sick fill fish. and All right. to fish um, and to row. I rowed most of the day and, you know, pulling my raft through those obstructions, uh, it was difficult. I mean, it was, it was not something that I would probably do again anytime soon. I definitely want to do it again in the future. Once I have forgotten how difficult it was to do it this time, I might, you know, convince myself, oh yeah, I'm looking at a fish picture. I'm going to say, 
I want to go where I caught that, and then I'll forget all about the hardships that it took to actually get those fish. Um, that's kind of the fun of it, is I'll forget, go back, and I'll have a new adventure at that point in time. Uh, I hope you guys are super excited for this warm weather that's coming. It's supposed to be in the 70s next week. Uh, we had snow last week, so the 70s next week is a good change of pace. It's been getting down to like 26, 27, 28 degrees every single day. So the leaves are still slowly emerging. They're not actually out yet, but soon spring will be in full bloom up here in the UP. And we have such a very short spring in the UP. Summer will be right behind. Uh, I am amazingly excited for all of you to get out there and fish and also to follow these adventures that you guys see on the camera. I hope you guys appreciate these videos. I hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, I'd love for you guys to drop a comment down below. Um, tell me what you're excited for this summer. Are you guys excited for warm water species? Are you excited for musky? Are you excited for, I don't know, more trout? What are you looking for uh, or looking forward to? All right, guys, that being said, let's get out of here. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful fishing weekend coming up because I know you're going to be fishing. That's what I'm going to be doing. All right, guys, uh, without any further ado, catch least wonder. I'll see you guys in the next one.